We have three musketeer in the $20 price point. We have the truth here, hola, we have the tang stew one up, we have the seven hertz zero, and for hundred and nine dollar we have the Ligato from seven hertz. We also have uh, the Kiwi ears quartered, but to this sim god, can it be the third musketeer or not? Let's check it out. Hello guys, it's Jordan from Jordan Kid Review. Welcome back. Today, we'll be talking about this new IEM from SimGod, the EM6L. Yes, why this name? I don't know, okay? What does EM6 and L stand for? Uh, then they will explain it um, officially. Maybe you guys can think about it and tell me in the comments below. And they also call it the Phoenix. So, six and the number of six uh, very curious how this six come about because uh, it has a uh, one DD and four BA configurations, so it's a five driver unit. So six, not sure where this six from. Maybe it's the six IEM that they they came up with the EA 500, 200, 100. So I really not sure how this six come about. So maybe it's the number of IEM the releases that that have so far six. So EM six L. A mouthful of uh, word to come from. I mean, something like Sony, uh, very skeptical about their naming scheme. So, yeah, so this SIM card, um, one plus four IEM is selling at 109 USD dollar. So, it is priced exactly the same with Ligato and the Quartet. Hence, that's why I think that it's a very good comparison whether will this IEM make it to the to be same, to be ranked the same like the two, okay? Because Ligato and it's very, very basic and he have his own cult following because there are people that like this kind of tuning, like a bit old school kind of tuning, which is very fun to listen to. Depends on the library that you have. And it is my wife daily driver, okay? She don't like a lot of my collection and she like the Ligato very, very much. Quartet is mine personal i crown it the best 109 hundred dollar iem for myself okay which i would recommend to a lot of my friends so this will it let's talk about it slowly as first of all we just talk about the build the build quality on this iem i would say it is small mm -hmm. it's small it's in black the it's not the the it's not in metal okay it's not that the whole thing is in metal like the ea 500 or the ew 200 the faceplate on top is in metal and the rest of it below is by resin okay so it's not super super heavy like the ea 500 but i do like the heftiness on the ea 500 because it is just very uh, premiumly felt to me yeah it's because it's very heavy and it's very well polished here okay it is in black the color wise design wise i give it to them because it's in black very sleek don't have any weird uh, wordings on the faceplate which you will make it very very awkward they just have two um their their logo okay one is the sim god logo another one i believe this is the the phoenix <laughs> the phoenix i just guessing so the wordings are on the back which you won't be seeing it a lot so i'm okay with that and one thing is that the ball size, the nozzle size is quite thick, really. Yeah, the nozzle size is quite thick. Is um, how thick it is, I would say, like common to a lot of uh, tri-bit IEM out there. So I don't have any issue with fitting myself, but just for you guys to note that uh, the nozzle size is quite thick. Okay, so maybe some tips like the final E-tips or some tighter ball tips might have issue fitting in with the ball over here or you can actually stretch it okay but it will be making it a little bit difficult for you to change change out your tips so what tips am i using of course i'm using the audiosense s400 tips best tips ever for me so i use it on a lot a lot of my iem and i do a lot of demo on the tips because it just good okay it can fit into any any IEM. So let's do a little bit of complaining <laughs> and things that you really, really need to know. 
this two pin connector is not your usual flush two pin or not it is not mmcx as well this is two pin but this is using qtc connector where if you guys have seen um kz im or if you ever own a kz im cca im or some other more budget uh im you know that that the im the cables that it came with uh is have that plastic shell um on on the cable itself on the connector because here the two pin is protruding out so they have this metal uh, shell that actually can protect the, the the two pin itself which will provide more security because you will have less risk of bending your two pin or damaging your two pin it's a good idea okay it's a good idea not sure why the the IEM market are not using this as much okay even a lot of like up to top tier IEM to down to budget IEM I mean a lot of them are just using normal flush two pin but I did actually ask SimGod about it saying that why are you guys using this protruding um, QTC connector they say that because this shell is quite small um, to fit in 1DD and 4BA it's quite difficult for them to snuff everything inside hence the two pin connector they just put it outside as they're using this QTC connector so this QTC connector will it be an issue for a lot of you most probably not okay but for some of you where you have a lot of cable collection or you are a person that like to do cable rolling then it might pose a, a challenge to you because you might not have QDC connector cable if you use normal cable it will be very very weird and will look super fragile if you put it on to this QDC connector so that's why um, a little bit of complaint over here it's not universally um, available for everyone to change the cable and of course if you really really wanted to do a cable swap you go and look for cables uh, seller out there like the xi hns the nice hck look out for them they do have options for qdc connector so not to worry but if you already have a few cable to swap around with in your collections then too bad okay it's too bad and then this connector is also psychologically okay psychologically uh, i mean to me think that it's also not the best shouldn't put this on this iem because there are a lot of brands that are using this qdc connector and all of them are kind of budget iem if you use this just give me that that feeling that this looks like a cheap iem because is using QDC and it turned off a lot of people who are already in the game so yeah really uh, to me at least to me I just felt that oh why this okay why this it should have been if it's flush then I have no complaint okay no complaint or even if it's recess I have no complaint but just QDC people mind would just relate it to some cheaper brand out there so mm just a personal complaint it will not affect a lot of you so well give or take okay if you guys are using the stock cable well good to go okay good to go so and like i said the shell is pretty small it doesn't give me any fitting issue so i'm okay totally okay with the fitting on this iron because uh, it's not the kind of a semi custom shape it's just a very normal shape where it's quite small and light most of you wouldn't have any comfort issue and let's talk about the cable okay the cable again is the QC, qdc connector that they have provided uh, the reason i say most of you will, will not have any issue because is that the cable that given is not bad it's good looking as well so even the splitter okay have that gold and black accents to it where i think it's just perfectly match the the whole IEM and I have totally no complaint and utility wise why not okay why not so that's why no uh, cable swapping is needed on this IEM only for those who like to swap and roll around who have issue on this okay so cable totally no complaint on this and also I would 
like to just brief normally I won't do this but for sim god I really needed to the box mm, the box that usually they came with wow is the your standard sim god box okay which is very very premium so if you can under different lightings the I think the uh, the artwork that they usually do and the way they package this is usually very matured okay it felt like you are buying something very very expensive okay it, and the wordings on the back are in silver which will reflect lights okay which is very very nice looking I always amazed by packaging of the sim god like when I first did with the EA500 it's mind-blowing wow what is this okay it's chai fi man why are you giving me such premium box <laughs> I'm not complaining I really love it a lot and even in there artwork snow slodge okay it's not just the sleeve that are doing fantastic job the even inside the compartments everything wow the person that do all this packaging or the factory that they outsource this to do the packaging is nice and that's all I just thought that I really wanted to talk about the the, the packaging because just so good okay it's not fair to give you a pass and let's talk about the sound okay so been ranting a lot let's talk about the sound finally so the sound signature on this IM first of all it is tuned towards Harman 2019 with a little bit of their in-house sim god tweaking okay so but like it's 90 percent like 85 to 90 percent similar to the Harman 2019 target so if you guys haven't tried or if you guys don't know what is the Harman target you can look on script link okay you can see that the, the usually there are uh, targets that you can see from there so that is the frequency graph that I grafted over here it really look alike with uh, the Harman 2019 target just with that little bit of mid bass uh, boosted because the I think that the Harman 2019 is a bit lacking in the mid bass region making it sound like a little bit of uh, bass talk so this don't have the issue this don't have the issue this have that mid bass fixed by sim god themselves maybe they realize that is uh, an issue as well so they fix it and how does it sound in overall so harmony tune totally harmony tune like your aria that you you guys like so let's talk about the bass the bass here i would say it's a bit lacking <laughs> Because you are following your harmony is following your harmon target so bass here for me it's a bit lacking looking at the two other brothers the legato and the quartet they have tremendous amount of bass okay especially the legato so this will be having the least bass okay compared to the rest of them and uh, I would say that not that it's not there if the bass is here I think they are using very very good dynamic driver sometimes you can almost felt okay whether the drivers that they use is it a good driver because you can sense it from the the speed of the driver and the impact that it gives okay although it gives you it doesn't measure like very uh, high quantity of bass out there but it still gives you that very good um, impact and very fast impact okay just to to solve that um, the little quantity of that so even though it's little but I just think that the base quantity here is decent okay it's decent I think that if they use this driver to turn out the base a little bit more okay if we were to use back the same driver and tune something similar with a bit more base I think that would be just fabulous okay just fabulous because I think that this should be a very good DD but I don't know I don't take out this and to check it out but think that this should be good okay should be good but base head out there stay with your Ligato okay stay with your Ligato not this all right not this so mid base do the mids okay although I said I have uh, I have added a little bit of mid base but um, don't be confused or mistaken that it is still clean sounding 
very clean sounding there's no bleeding going on like some other IEM did which I just review <sighs> that one is disastrous okay so not that okay nothing on it uh, in this IEM and the upper mid range is the star of the show of a lot of harmony tune IEM you guys out there who like vocal female vocal you will like this a lot because um, the female vocal usually like from aria from the ea 500 they have a little bit more presence okay so here the female vocal on this im is having good presence but again not forward okay not forward uh there are people out there like me who like very forward female vocal uh, I'm the kind of people that can take the star few too. So I, yeah, I'm the person that Timmy is referring to that I can take the star few too vocal. So uh, this I am is not that okay. It's not that very forward uh, female presentations. Okay, this is just normal. They just position at a very normal place, and overall it gives you that very smooth uh, listening uh, overall. Okay, listening it don't have a thing a traits that actually pop up to you or oh, this is a very basic i am or oh, this is a very vocal focused i am this i am does everything averagely good mm -hmm. so vocal on this i think is one of the best that because nothing else to talk about in the bass just that it's fast and vocal have good presence good clarity and instruments and percussions are good on this detail retrieval on this IEM I would think that is also decent so it's a very hard IEM for us to do review because it don't have a special thing that stand out a lot it's just averagely good all across the frequency and if I really really wanted to nitpick I would think that um, I would prefer something a little bit more stage or the timber yes on very very busy track because I'm this usually listening to J-pop. J-pop sometimes very messy, very chaotic, and on those track, sometimes I can listen, I can notice that a little bit of that BA timber. Hmm, just a little bit. Not sure whether can it be soft by just burning this IEM. If you even believe in burning, but not on every track. Okay, not on every track, but just some and for that very faint moment okay very short moment and i think this is because of uh looking at the price that it give i have totally complained okay looking at let's do some comparison okay comparison first of all this is 109 dollar we'll be comparing to something in the same configurations first later we come back to something that same price comparison in terms of spec okay i just can i just want to do it because tan's gym kara 180 dollar mm -hmm. much more expensive than this and i will pick this any day okay because this is i would say overall much balance nicer tuning that one have a lot of bass that one is fun sounding but the T ba timbo like i just mentioned is a lot more severe on the set which that's why i don't really like it a lot i don't really like the the tanshin kara at all <laughs> really despite a lot of praises being given but just not my thing it's not my thing this is way better it's also one plus four and the tanshin kara even have that a little bit of mid uh the base a little bit bleeding issue with the base because it's a bit too much so this don't have all those issues okay to compare with that if you are looking for a hybrid IM one plus four okay think of it this first okay instead of the Kara to me and next we have the Yanyin Canon 2 which is triple the price of this or even more than that and of course comparison is not fair but I just think that the one plus four triple the price wow this expensive 350 dollar for one plus four is super expensive and i can get a, something a lot more interesting in that price but then um the, to compare sound wise i won't really compare the sound on that with this the base both of the base on here and there i would prefer the quan quality of the base on the em6l because the quality of base on the canon 2 is 
a little bit lackluster to me but I will give it to the the EM6L but on the rest of it of course the Canon 2 is something more superior but do that superiority worth that three times of price okay that one is for you to judge if money is not an object then of course the Canon 2 okay for your one plus four and next let's go back to something that this is priced similar similarly to okay the Licato the Licato of course have way more base double the base of this IEM and the signature is different totally different okay this is for smooth listening and for a lot of a lot of um, average user out there is very versatile okay very versatile but if you are into bass of course the Licato have more of that but Licato vocal sometimes can be a bit too laid back okay because of that amount of bass okay their vocal just can't come out as much so here is because it's more balanced vocal wise here on this IEM this will do better okay especially on female vocal and uh, detail retrieval as well because nothing is masking this IEM uh, letting the detail retrieval come out so that's why the detail retrieval on this is averagely good as well and the last comparison the IEM the I crown the best for hundred dollar the uh, KVS quartet is a two plus two configurations and um, I still love that a lot yeah to compare with this with that uh, nothing to compare about because the base is more on the on the quarter and the base gives you that very surrounding kind of feeling which is uh, it will left I mean it will let you dive into the music more okay have that more musicality on that and the female vocal on that is quite good as well I love to listen to J-pop on that I am uh, just maybe if it has a little bit more treble then it would be a perfect I am compared to this um, this I would still think that this is not as good okay I mean personal preference is not as exciting as the quartet having more bass having more female vocals having uh, things more, more v-shaped over there okay giving you a little bit more fun this is more averagely done as a comparison mm -hmm, if you want some analogy legato is um, maybe we put it in the context of a classroom um, legato just like the big guy in the classroom with a lot of brute force okay playing basketball okay a lot of muscle so the quarter quarter is maybe the most handsome looking guy in the class with good body sexy body and does a lot of thing well girls like it mm -hmm. that's what i would just describe or imagine the em6l i would say that is a normal guy in the class that has just looking at the color in black a bit more low profile maybe but score everything just nice good in academic sport not the best but always get the job get the jobs done mm -hmm. and just averagely good okay so it depends on your character okay what kind of people that you really wanted to be or you really uh, want the sound to be so this would be my analogy for <laughs> in terms of in the context of the classroom so that's all for the, this super long ranting video and we'll be having more to come please like and subscribe and we'll be seeing you next time bye bye